Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2021 Money and Career Tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's get straight into your reading as we always do and pull your overarching energy or message for the month. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, Money and Career only, please. April 2021 message for our lovely Capricorns please okay that flew out and we have Capricorn energy with three of coins just brilliant love this for you because it's your energy three of coins energy message for Capricorn please angels spirits guides message for our lovely Capricorns money career only april 2021 yeah oh don't doubt yourself this month capricorn we have confidence message for capricorn please angels spirits guides message okay thank you So I have faced your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of your success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled and with and released these self doubts. Yeah, don't doubt yourself. You know, what was that? You know, it's interesting. I'm getting such a powerful energy you're very powerful this month in money and career this is power energy okay so i'm going to pull five cards let's move these over slightly message for capricorn please angel spirits guides message for our lovely capricorns money career finances april 2021 please message for Capricorn money career finances please for April 2021 thank you four of swords you Capricorn the devil four of wands uh, is any obstacles to overcome ace of wands is the advice from spirit very nice energy and your outcome wow we've got the emperor bottom of the deck oh my goodness the star card of aquarius a power boost in your money career finances the three of coins is the beginnings of success in essence it's manifesting the beginnings of success tangible phys physical touchable success now that could be to do with a new business partnership that could be in terms of manifesting you know a new job um, or excelling in what you do I mean this is generally the beginnings of success so however it resonates for you you're really going at it you're really going for it um from a position of power and there's definitely an energy of again this can be a card of teamwork collaboration so maybe new business projects or it can well just be you prioritizing manifesting success by being diligent hard working put your energy in the right direction being methodical and doing what you do best harnessing your practical skills and abilities knowledge to bring the beginnings of success your way i love the three of coins very nice energy now it might be for some of you also you might be doing up a new home you know uh sometimes i see this as things like property development or doing up property as well so that might resonate for you too 
And the reason why I'm saying that is because I've got the Four of Wands, which can be the Happy Home card. So again, for some of you, it might well be to do with some kind of property as well. But you're going through a period of, of recovery, you know, and there's definitely an energy of getting clarity on how to maybe re-evaluation or getting clarity how you want to take action feels like to getting your head around a situation maybe taking a breather if you've been exhausted as well you know but this is definitely an energy of recovery is happening some kind of recovery that you're bringing in now the devil can be a card of instability um so yeah, maybe in terms of gone, having got, have, dealing with some kind of instability, something that it feels like it's affected, some instability that's affected not just you, but your home, your family, um, your relationship. I mean, you know, there's levels to this card, but it definitely feels for some of you that you have the power to come into your own. I mean, the devil appearing in your what's going for you section Spirit is saying that do what you do best, Capricorn. Do what you do best this month and don't doubt yourself. You know, the devil is a real energy. The devil is, deals with reality. The devil understands how to manipulate, how to work within boundaries, how to work within testing energy and turn things to their advantage. So I definitely feel in this situation, this is savvy business acumen. There's a savviness to this. Some deep reflection, contemplation, recovery is happening here. That is allowing you to get some kind of, maybe making some savvy decisions, savvy choices, taking clear savvy actions. I'm definitely getting this energy of how to turn something to your advantage this month. Four of Wands. It can be a card of celebration in the home, the family. So for some of you, this is any obstacles to overcome. And again, we've got the four energy here, which is about stability, security. It feels for some of you that you're going through a process of trying to bring some level of stability and security back into your home, your family. Like I said, for some of you, it might well be something to do with moving home as well, you know? Um, because again, I've got the happy home energy here. So maybe some obstacle or something that needs to be addressed, you know, before you kind of get the green light in a situation. So it might well be for some of you that there is some kind of obstacle or something that needs to be dealt with here before you kind of like get the stability and security back in your life um, but definitely this can be about celebration a milestone achieving a milestone can also be obviously um, getting some stability it's a stabilizing energy I'm going to pull a card for this let's just clarify that four of wands yeah like I said, I think it's just something that's coming. Um, the three of wands is your ships are coming in. It might well be there's just something that needs to be addressed before you get the celebration, the stability, the security back in your... And why am I saying this? Because I've got the next wand here and three, of one, three and one makes four. So the way the card's coming out is it's almost like something might need to be addressed or finalized before you get the celebration, the joy, uh, the stability, the happy home card. And the three of wands is what you've been taking action towards. The ship, your ships are coming in. Something good is coming your way. It's not quite there yet, but the message is just keep taking action towards it. So again, that, there might well be just something to get this up to the four wands. And again, we're getting the fourth wand here, which is the ace of wands. So finally, this is the new opportunity. This is, can be an offer opportunity. Um, you know, the, the Ace of Wands is connected to our heart and soul. So yes, it can be an offer or an opportunity that opens a new beginning, a new door, 
um, in terms of money career finances. It can also be Capricorn, you taking action towards something that is your heart and soul. Finally, a door is opening that you can step through to that new phase of your life that's connected to your heart and soul. So like I said, if you have visited a place on holiday or, you know, been to a state or a county for whatever reason and you feel an affinity there, you might be wanting to pursue something that's very connected to your heart and soul. Um, it can be that new beginning energy, taking action towards moving there, for example. So it can represent that for you as well. But it, it feels very beautiful. I'm definitely either getting this with property or I'm getting this in terms of specific jobs, money, career, finances. Yeah, because the Emperor is a car. We've got the four. We've got the four. Stability, a stabilizing energy. So getting the stability back. You might be dealing with somebody in authority. You know, this is generally a male energy, somebody who's at the top of his game. He is the Emperor, the owner of a company, um, somebody who is absolutely in con complete control of his empire so this is an energy you might be meeting with somebody in authority here capricorn who might be bringing in some kind of offer opportunity so for some of you that might resonate he again it's the four energy so i like these four energies it's bringing stability and security back into your life foundation and there may well also be Capricorn with some of the cards on the table because I've got the card of hope here. There could well be either an entrepreneurial, an entrepreneurial kind of like self startup um, leader that you might be meeting, or a large organization, lots of tiers, lots of strong structure who's giving you some kind of opportunity. So that might resonate for some of you as well. But there's definitely an energy here of you are the empire builder. This is about you knowing your power to bring success, to shape your reality. The world doesn't shape you, you shape the reality. You have all the resources, the practical resources, the earthly resources you need to turn something to your advantage and bring stability back in your life and success. So there's definitely empire building here, obviously in proportion of what you're, you're, you're working towards. Because the star is an energy of you're absolutely going in the right direction, you're on the right path. If you keep taking action in the right direction, you will receive the blessings, the reward. This is a card of optimism, renewal, have faith, hope. You are absolutely being guided. This is the divine wish fulfillment card. So it definitely feels very beautiful here, Capricorn. There is the beginnings of success. And remember the emperor can be you as well, um, in which case it would be male or female energy because the emperor is somebody who conducts their power, who sits in their power. Um, they don't let the world act on them, they act on the world. And this is very much you, Mars in Capricorn, Mars energy, you know, using your power, doing what you do well to bring in the beginnings of success, stability, security. Very nice energy indeed. Very nice energy indeed. Okay, final message for Capricorn, please. Money and career finances, thank you. Yeah, we have kang kangaroo courage. You are being tested. Have faith and stand in your truth. And this is about connecting to your truth, who you are, what you're capable of, what you're practically capable of as well, to turn something to your advantage. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. 
So I hope you enjoyed the reading Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.